A breaking in Baldwin County, five people arrested in Gulf Shores by the FBI, all charged in a string of arsons at Walmart stores in Mobile and on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. All five suspects arraigned today in federal court, all pleading not guilty. Fox 10 News' Hal Sherrick in that courtroom. He joins us now live from downtown Mobile and how the indictment shedding some new light on this case, huh? It sure did, Byron. The grand jury indictment spells out who prosecutors say were involved and why they say that they did it. Now, it alleges threats were made through a letter titled Declaration of War and Demands for the People. Now, written by a group referring to themselves as the Veterans Order, the seven-page document sent in May of last year threatened Walmart with more fires if demands weren't met. Now, in the beginning of what prosecutors call the Walmart Manifesto, there's a line that reads, this letter serves as a final warning to Walmart. We will give Walmart a 48-hour timeline to publicly acknowledge these issues and demands, commit to fixing them publicly, and make a real change for the people. In the letter, demands are made for Walmart to change its foreign and domestic trade practices. The first fire was reported at the Walmart on the I-65 Beltline in Mobile. Uh, on May of uh, last year, the 27th of May. Then another fire, this time at the Walmart on Range Line Road. The very next day, a week passes, and then Walmarts in Gulfport and Biloxi were hit on the same day. The extent of damage varied at each location, but the motive was the same. The indictments indicate there were at least eight people involved, the five men arrested today, and three unnamed women. The indictment refers to as female conspirators. Those arrests in this morning's raid at a home in Gulf Shores include Jeffrey Sykes, Sean and Michael Botorf, and Quentin and Alexander Olson, all original from Kearney, Nebraska. Now, the men appeared in court this afternoon in the, wearing the same clothes they were arrested in, four in shorts, one in blue jeans, one wearing no shoes. The suspects testified they have little to no money, and the court did appoint them attorneys. Now, all five suspects are implicated in one or more of the Walmart fires by either conspiring or committing those acts. Now, the, uh, no mention was made of the female conspirators during the court proceedings today, and attorneys from both sides uh, declined to comment to the media after the proceedings. Now, the court did say that this case will go to the May trial docket. That's coming up pretty soon. Reporting live from federal court, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.